roofed factory and so I guess as architects you're always you know got some capacity to think beyond what is there but the transformation of this site is pretty amazing because it was you know entirely roofed like you know zero permeable area on the site and now what has been formed is a dwelling sitting in it with a garden on two sides. The client was really interested in the view and the view is not something that we're typically chasing which is weird you know like I know that a lot of people are lo like love a house with a view and I do think that we've become so used to celebrating the small moments and the small views within a site that we we're not often chasing the big one and so this client in fact had got up on the roof of the existing building to see what kind of height she would need to achieve the view she wanted she was adamant that this is the height it needed to be and this is the openings I'd need and in this direction and that direction and so we felt like we were often representing the kind of interiors of the projects so we were sort of saying you know you just don't want this top bit ending up like a fishbowl you might get sick of the view but you'll always want a nice spot to sort of you know snail off on the couch so I think we definitely found a nice medium point and you know the views are immense but they're also framed and there's also plenty of space for homeliness and not feeling like you're on show. We're trying to achieve a scale that you wouldn't normally see in a domestic building to bring a sort of simplicity and abstractness to the project, I think. And the AWS sections did the trick. They were great. The light was really important to her and that was the big driver for her having the principal living areas up on the, in the top floor. At the same time, she's a gardener and so she really also wanted a connection with the garden. So the design challenge was really about bridging those two experiences and making sure that the building itself didn't become just the thoroughfare from getting from the bottom to the top. You know, in design we were so interested in this building being a sequence of spaces and it was always going to be a project where, you know, a house that you moved through and the experience was very important. So a series of terraces were planned for the back of the site and it was to provide sort of alternative routes to the garden as well. So there wasn't just one obvious way of, of getting out to a spot to sit in the sun that you might go one way or you might go the other. There's definitely points of compression and expansion, so you might walk from somewhere quite low and dimly lit into something quite bright, and I think the fact that there's a contrast there is a really important thing about this project. Whenever an architect can deliver a project where the plan is just working really well and working hard, it's always a really satisfying thing for us. It's where we see the value of an architect to be. But then, yeah, the bonus is the little moments, I guess, that, we can spend a long time drawing and detailing and so if they provide a bit of pleasure and fun along the way then that's, that's terrific as well.